we are um, hiking our way down to the trail from the station at 19E Hostel. Had a great stay there last night and good food, a few beers. Yeah. Watched a little women's soccer, USA Olympic stuff, and yeah. swimming, and met some folks. It was a good time. It was good to uh, talk with the owner, Dave, again. We had seen him before on a previous trip. Um, and my good buddy Joe here cooked some eggs and sausage and bacon this morning. Well, you actually cooked the bacon. Okay, it was, well, I, yeah. yeah it, was, I, it was pretty tough, too. <laughs> it was pretty cooked, so I had to nuke it. You've got to know the exact amount of time to uh, cook it. It's and not easy. It, yeah, and you got to stay with it to make sure it doesn't, doesn't get overcooked. Right, right. Uh, we're, we're not sure how far we're going to go today. We're shooting for about, uh, what is that, 17, 18? Yeah, I think 18 miles if we're going to get uh, up to the old Cladland Hotel site. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We've got a lot of climbing to do today, but it's uh, going to be a sunny day, and it should be really, really pretty. This is the Rhone Mountains. Yeah. We're going to be going up over Rhone Mountains. It's about five miles we get, get up to the... Uh, where it's the balds, is that about right? I think so, I think it's five yeah. mile climb. Um, and then we'll be up there for a little bit and then we got a little bit more climb to get up to the Rhone Knob High Shelter area and that Cloudland Hotel site. And we'll make a decision then if um, we're gonna go any further. We kind of wish we'd had a workout that we could have stayed in the Over Mountain Shelter area. Uh, we stayed in there or in the grassy area there, what, last year? Yeah. Beautiful area, but it's so, it's only about 10 miles in, so. Great place for sunrise and yeah. sunset, and you're on this bluff, but we're probably gonna go there for lunch. Yeah. If it times out right, so we get a chance to show you that area. Yeah, that'll be good. Uh, but yeah, excited. This is, uh, you know, we were talking yesterday, I may have mentioned it, but, um, you know, let me get back behind you here. <laughs> yeah, car coming. Car coming. Car coming. Car's coming. Car's coming. Yeah. Bunch of cars. Here comes another one. Yeah. And a big truck with his wheel off. The, he's kind of riding his shoulder a little bit. He's corrected. He's pulled off to the center some more. That was interesting. That was. So, anyways, uh, when we were on the northbound uh, side, we were when we were 395 out. We were just on the top of Musawak, or just crossing over it. So it's kind of interesting here. We're getting ready for the whites. And so now we're 395 out and we're getting ready for the Rhone Mountain Highlands, which is one of my favorite areas to hike, just because of the bulbs and the views. And so not quite as, as majestic as the whites, but still. Anyways, I find that kind of interesting. Though. Yeah, it's one of the prettiest spots in the, yeah. you know, the Southern Appalachian Trail. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think we're as uh, fearful. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this go around as we were kind of stepping into the whites. Yeah, this but. this will still have some elevation gain today. This would be this could be if we do what we think we're going to do. So I think it's the most we'll have done on this on our southbound leg yet. But yeah, but we're so, going to take we're going to take our time, right? We are. Time is on our side. So we've got about 51 miles to get to Irwin. Uh, we've got another box sitting there at Uncle Johnny's. So this will be about a three day stint for us. Again, it's worked out pretty well from a food perspective and a weight perspective. Car coming. I'm shifting over. That one's interesting too. <laughs> yeah, kind of, the line on that one. Yeah. So, anyways, um, so this should be a this should be pretty a pretty nice three day segment. And I can't wait to get my new shoes because my my doggies are barking. Oh, you got them in Irwin? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So anyways, we're looking forward to getting this one going. And I believe we're here. And we're here at the trailhead, so we can finally start it. So my arm's getting tired too from holding this <laughs> stick. So you all stick with us. Ooh. 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 And uh, happy trails. All right, take care, y'all. All right, there's Joe hiding in the background. <laughs> so uh, getting off to a good start. Um, we are basically the inverse of this. This is if you were going north, you would be leaving North Carolina for good. So what that means for us is what, Joe? We are entering North Carolina and we are leaving. Well, not really leaving. We're, we're Tennessee is gonna kinda go back and forth. And so uh, is North Carolina. Until, yeah. until we get out of the Smokies, I guess. Yeah. Uh, it'll kinda intertwine back and forth. So we'll be doing a double state. Ooh. Do you, what, so. you know what the really cool thing about North Carolina though is? What's that? With respect to shelters, tell them. 
Oh. Yeah. This is good stuff. They have privies and they have bear boxes or bear cables. Yay! Yeah. Um, although we're pretty good. Well, we're pretty good at bear ropes. Yeah, we are. We yeah. Are. And we digging do, holes. We do pretty good. Um, and, and digging holes when there's big shovels, too. Yeah. So. I'll have to show you that, that trick here later. Yeah. So, anyways, we're doing uh, a <laughs> big good time. We just uh, got through. We're about halfway up this mountain. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're hanging in there, but it's, it's beautiful. Uh, it's beautiful out there. Let me see if I can turn this around and kind of show you what we're walking into. This is kind of what we're walking into, uh, which is always kind of nice when you break out and get some nice views and we're getting ready to do that today. Again, we're pretty excited about the fact yeah. we're going up over the hump mountains, or the Rhone, Rhone mountains and a lot of balds and stuff. So it should be really pretty. It's a good time to put sunscreen on. Yeah. All right, we're going to continue on and we'll talk to y'all later. came out of the woods from our haul up the hill we still got eight tenths of a mile to get up to the top a uh, big hump over there you see in the distance but uh got to give you all a first look at this there's my studly hiking companion oh yeah this is what we get to look forward to for most of the rest of the afternoon, or morning <laughs> and afternoon. It's just amazing. Beautiful. So we'll uh, we get up to the top of Big Hump. We'll, we're gonna hump it up there, and then we'll uh, do some more videos. Happy trails. Day 123. At 9 a.m., close to it. The beautiful views up here. We are on top of Hump Mountain. Had a little workout this morning, but it's uh, well worth it. Just incredible. We're higher than Katahdin. Are we? Yeah. This is 55, 51. Katahdin was what? 52 Two something, yeah. Yeah, we're higher than Katahdin right now. Right. And High Knob. Let's see. High Knob shelters at 6270. So we're getting ready to get off a of big hump mountain. And I think where we're headed is a little hump mountain, which is that little grassy wall there. And after that, way off in the distance, I think. Let's see if I can get my finger in the way again. I think that's where we're going, which we're going mountain. It's another range, but we're at the range with the mountain behind the one. Headed toward Little Hump Mountain. Coming off Big Hump.
Oh, we made it up a little hump. You big hump, I'm little hump. <laughs> yeah, just some, some great views. This is some of them, or one of my favorite parts of the AT here in the south. And uh, probably only second to Franconia Ridge, but the nice thing about these balls up here is they're just so, you know, you got so much growth and it's just kind of a smooth edges as compared to Franconia Ridge, just a little bit different. But really enjoy it. We are getting close to <clears throat> Hilver Mountain Shelter, and this path is walking us through these flowers. It's just, it's incredible. I mean, you, know, you got blues and yellows, purples. We had some really pretty red ones just a minute ago. It's just, and I used to think that somebody had to come up here and put a bunch of wildflower seeds or something to make this beautiful but i think it just happens every year all on its own seed from the prior years it just stop and smell the flowers and then get stung on your nose by a bee probably not we'll be back at y'all later hello folks time for a long-awaited additional uh, episode of Scoop on the Poop. So we're at Over Mountain Shelter, and it has uh, a design somewhat unique to anything that, that I've brought to you before. So check, check this out. There is the privy. And you can see it's basically got a little galvanized aluminum privacy panel that's been bent around it and get on up here closer I think it's got a rather unique seat check this out quite the art quite the art I think you'll find that that's rather unusual but what is especially nice is I'm just gonna flip the camera around look at the view This is a privy with a view. Fantastic. Well, maybe I'll just test drive this thing and then uh, get back with you all later if anything amiss happens. Take care. Just finishing up lunch here. We made a stop at the Over Mountain Shelter. And again, they, the shelter's closed where you can't actually sleep in it because of fear of it falling down. Um, there was a lot of great tent spots right out here. The last time we came through here, Joe and I and, and friend Linda actually camped out here. And it's a beautiful sunrise in the morning. And just some gorgeous views out here. But a little bit early for us to be stopping. We're going to try to go about another, about another eight miles.
Good lunch, Joe. Great lunch. Something on a tortilla. All right. That's yeah. different. How about you? Um, yeah, I had the same. Yeah, I had something great. on a tortilla. That's good. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to mosey on. Beautiful day. What do you say, Mr. David? Mr. Joe. We made it to the top of whatever this is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me see if I got a name for it's it. It's not Big Hump. It's not Little Hump. But uh, there's another one of those. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't say. It doesn't say? It doesn't say. Well, we want to show you. It's a little bit hazy. I'll try to go slow. But check all this out. It's just incredible 360 views. You know, and you see the... Way off in the distance, you can see some of those mountains and such. God, it's just, just amazing. It is incredible views. Really, really worth the hike. We're uh, getting our, I think about two miles to get down to Carver's Gap. So we're starting to hit those bulbs um, to make up between here and Carver's Gap. Yeah, because <laughs> they're right there. That's where we're heading. And you can see the yeah. trail that gets, goes up over that bald. It's really pretty cool. And uh, it's not too steep. And then you just roll right on down into Carver's Gap where we will be able to get more water. Camel up. Yeah, it's good though. All right, well. Nice uh cool breeze blowing. Yeah, that's what the guy, the people who just passed, that older couple, you know, they're probably two years older. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, yeah, how you doing? He goes, finally a breeze yeah. up here on this ridge. It's pretty nice. Okay, well, happy trails. See you in a bit. We'll see you all in a little bit. All right, we are at the so I think luxurious Cloudland Hotel site. This is where there was a, used to be a hotel way back in the, in the old days. Right on top of this. And uh, you can see See down there where the kids are standing on the part of the old structure. But it was pretty pretty well renowned back then. Um, this was a place to come to get the cool mountain air and where all the, the rich folks hung out. Which is why we're not here for that reason. <laughs> um, So we're gonna go off and uh, try to find the restrooms and water fountain and stuff that's over here, take us a break and figure out what we're gonna do the rest of the day. How's that sound, Joe? Sounds perfect. All right, let's go. We're near Hughes Gap, trying to get her water for tonight. This is our option. I don't think it could go any slower. <laughs> At least there's a pipe. At least there's a pipe, but it's just, Slow, slow, slow. David probably took five minutes at least on a two liter bag. This is a three liter bag. And we have to fill bottles because we need water for tonight. Tomorrow's breakfast, whatever that may turn out to be. And then some water to get us to the next water source, which might be three miles away after we start our day tomorrow. But I'll tell you, the water looks pretty clear. So we do like this. Thank you to the people who put the pipe in. Uh, we'll get through this, right, David? We will. Patience. Patience. And we won't torture you <laughs> by making you watch it any longer. No way we're watching it. Uh, we'll check with you guys later. All right, we have arrived at our campsite for the night. Um, and the interesting thing is it's the same campsite that uh, Joe and Linda and I used two years ago, last year. Yeah, I think it was two. I think it was two, two years, years ago. ago. Anyways, um, nice little campsite. Um, we got here about seven fifteen ish, so a little bit late. But we made a a decision. We stopped at the Cloudland Hotel. I think we we talked about that, and then yeah. we made a decision that we would go ahead and push on down to get us better situated for where we want to be tomorrow. So we ended up doing. How much, Joe? 21.88. 88. Plus six tenths of a mile uh, yeah. down from the hostel to the right. trailhead. So. Yeah, our road walk. Yeah. So, but 
All in all, pretty good. You know, Joe was just saying we had what, 11? Yeah, 11,000 in aggregate of ascent and descent, 6,100 plus in uh, ascents, and then the balance was um, in descents. That was like 40, close to 4,900 in uh, descent, and then we had an average grade of 9.8%. Um, so okay. there you are. Statistician. We're not into numbers so or not, anything. Nothing, <laughs> nothing like that. So um, to put it in a spreadsheet. Yeah. Bottom line is that uh, that was a pretty big day for us. A lot of uh, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, um, but we did pretty good with it. And uh, again, we ended up with a 21.88. So good day for us overall. We are again still pushing into our next resupply. Sorry, I keep looking at my stove over here. I've got a boiling water. Mm -hmm. um, our next resupply is in Irwin, so we had 51. So we got about 30 more to go, and. Uh, uh, we're we're in pretty good shape for that. So. Yeah, we're gonna try to do. If we can do twenty-ish tomorrow, then we'll have an easier day going in. Everyone have time to shower yeah. and, and yeah. get our gear together. And yeah, always nice to have a little bit of extra time to get all the stuff done, so you don't feel like you're rushing around and then just going to sleep and then waking up. But but good day. We uh, we crossed over the eighteen hundred mile mark today, which is pretty cool. Yeah, total of over eighteen hundred miles. On yeah, the trail. and I think we're now less than three hundred and seventy-five miles left to go. So it's starting to wind its way down. So, all right. Well, we're we're in the midst of trying to get dinner here. Again, it's kind of late, so we're trying to get dark. So we're kind of yeah, we're we're trying to trying to get everything rushed around here. So we thought we'd do the video pretty quick before we do our typical at night and you can't see us type <laughs> stuff. But no, we've never done that. But good day, and we will talk to you all in the morning. Okay. Happy trails. Talk to you guys tomorrow.